Japan's government has passed by far the nation's biggest defense budget since the end of World War II. The Japanese Diet or Parliament has approved a whopping 46.3 billion US dollar defense budget. Apart from the normal expenses, the budget of the year will be used for some key weapons like new hypersonic anti-ship missiles and helicopter carrier upgrades that will allow for the carrying of Lockheed Martin F-35B stealth fighters. Most analysts now agree that Japan's focus is no longer North Korea, which was traditionally the case. The large spending is seen as a way to counter China, according to most analysts. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Japan is rising militarily to combat China. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. According to Japan's constitution adopted after the Second World War, it is a pacifist country. Article 9 of the Japanese constitution states that the Japanese people forever renounce war and the threat or use of force. It can be argued that acquiring a long-range hypersonic weapon is against the constitution. But slowly but surely, Japan's way of looking at this is changing in the face of the Chinese threat. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has long sought to engage the Japanese self-defense force to have a more aggressive role. This is mainly due to the activities of China, which are designed to intimidate its neighbors. For example, China claims almost 90% of the South China Sea through its so-called Nine Dash Line map. It says that it has indisputable sovereignty over the area. The route is significant as about $5 trillion in trade through shipping passes each year. The sea also has alleged 11 billion barrels of untapped oil and 190 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. China has tried imposing a unilateral decision as per which all ships and aircraft navigating in the area need to identify themselves to the Chinese military. Japan has no claims but wants freedom of navigation as per international maritime laws. Japan's hypersonic missile is a direct response to China's rough behavior, whereby it's executed land grabs and fortress construction in the South and East China Seas. Hypersonic weapons can travel with speeds in excess of Mach 5. The basic idea is to deploy the HVGP or hypervelocity gliding projectile so that it can help Japanese forces to take on the Chinese military. HVGP is a boost glide system. In this method, the system is launched to extremely high altitudes using ballistic missile or an aircraft where it skips across the Earth's upper atmosphere. The vehicle then separates from the carrier and glides back to the Earth towards its intended target attaining hypersonic speed. The Mainichi newspaper reported the 2026 model as for targeting a potential enemy invading Japan's remote islands. In the second stage, an upgraded type will be developed for possible installation in fiscal year 2028 or later, featuring claw-shaped payloads, enhanced speeds, and firing ranges and more complex trajectories. Mainichi added, another enhancement after 2026 could add a payload that's capable of penetrating the deck of aircraft carriers. Viewers may note that hypersonic weapons 
have significantly more kinetic energy when compared to subsonic or supersonic weapons and could cripple large warships as well as aircraft carriers with one strike. Mainichi explained, The introduction of longer-range gliding missiles to protect the Nansei Islands would make it possible for Japan to respond to China's activities without deploying the maritime self-defense forces vessels and aircraft. The paper added further, the Defense Ministry allocated a total of 18.5 billion yen, that's about 170 million US dollars, in the fiscal 2018 and 2019 budgets for research on HVGPs for the defense of remote islands, and plans to add another 25 billion yen, or 230 million dollars, in the fiscal 2020 budget. Japan's decision to pursue a hypersonic weapon is reinforcing the fact that it's slowly but surely organizing itself to meet emerging threats. Izumo class is officially a helicopter carrier class meant to carry rotary blade crafts of different types. Izumo class currently has two vessels, Izumo and Kaga. Izumo class displaces 27,000 tons when fully loaded. The ships have a speed of 30 knots or 56 kilometers per hour. These can carry up to 970 personnel, including crew and troops. Each ship carries up to 28 aircraft. This can include anti-submarine warfare ASW, helicopters or search and rescue SAR, helicopters. Japan currently has about 102 SH-60 Seahawks ASW helicopters of different variants and is expected to add another 80 new ASW helicopters in the coming days. These can be armed with up to three Mark 46 torpedoes or Mark 54s, four to eight AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, M60 machine gun or M240 machine gun or GAU-16A machine gun or GAU-17A minigun and Rapid Airborne Mine Clearance System RAMIX, using Mark 44 Mod Zero 30mm cannon. But many experts had indicated even before the commissioning of the first Izumo class vessel that class has the capability to work as a traditional aircraft carrier and deploy F-35Bs. The F-35B is the US Marines variant of the F-35 multi-role fighter made by Lockheed Martin. It matches the deck footprint of the Harrier. F-35Bs can operate from existing Izumo-class warships once modifications are made to the bow, deck and other areas for which the budget is allocated in this fiscal year. A clear shift in doctrine was witnessed when Japanese MOD decided to order 42 F-35Bs for Izumo-class aircraft carriers. This is the first time Japan will field a flat top with fixed-wing fighter jets with offensive capability. F-35Bs bring a lot of advantages over Japan's current fleet of F-15s. It's stealthy, has much better sensors, and has a far advanced electronic countermeasure suite. Apart from the basic weapons package, Japan is expected to arm the F-35Bs with joint strike missiles. JSM. Viewers may note that Norway's Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace and Japan's Ministry of Defense have signed a deal for JSM. The important part is that JSM is a dual-role weapon capable of anti-ship as well as land attack missions. It has a range of roughly 350 miles or 560 kilometers when using a normal trajectory, whereas a range of 175 miles or 280 kilometers when using a low altitude trajectory. The JSM carries a 500 pound warhead, making it powerful enough to neutralize most targets. So, Japan could deploy F 35Bs armed with JSM for standoff strike missions against Chinese land targets as well as warships. Unlike fixed land based runways, Uzumo and Kaga will provide mission flexibility.
prima facie, Japan pursuing nuclear weapons seems like a very unlikely scenario. But if Japan is forced continuously, then things can move in that direction. Japan does have the technological capability to deploy nukes quickly. There are already murmurs that Japan has a covert plan in place to achieve this. And nukes are a form of ultimate deterrence since it will enforce MAD equilibrium with China. Mutually assured destruction MAD, is a doctrine of military strategy and national security policy in which a full-scale use of nuclear weapons by two or more opposing sides would cause the complete annihilation of both the attacker and the defender. It is based on the theory of deterrence, which holds that the threat of using strong weapons against the enemy prevents the enemy's use of those same weapons. So Japan may very well argue that it needs nukes for defense. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.